Belonging to a strong, supportive girl gang can be fantastic. But what happens when the friendship turns toxic? Are your friends building you up or tearing you down? Have you ever thought that maybe it's because of your pretty privilege? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, and for those of you who are returning, hi amiga, I definitely miss you guys. This week I thought I'd talk about pretty privilege in the friend group. I just wanted to make this today's topic because I just find it very interesting and I've experienced a lot of bad female relationships um, that have traumatized me. So obviously there's a lot of benefits to having friendships, just having someone you can count on, someone you can talk to, someone who understands you. So it's super important to have girlfriends that have your back and who have your best interest, right? But sometimes, fortunately, you have to go through the rough ones to understand what the quality friends look like. So let's hop into these red flags that you may be experiencing as the pretty girl in the friend group. When you are around a beautiful girl, you will experience a lot of perks. It's honestly amazing because it's like everyone treats you like a princess and you get taken care of and that includes the women that you're with. For example, like when I go out to the club, I always offer drinks. Do I take them? Me personally, not really just because I don't drink, but they'll obviously extend the offer to the girls I'm with. I'm more so of like a dinner girl. I love meeting up with like some of my homegirls and we go get a nice dinner, just something chill, grown and sexy. And there's been times where the ch it's time to pay for the food and the server's like, oh, such and such already paid it for you. So being beautiful, you get a lot of attention. And in today's society, attention is a form of currency that can literally get you paid. A girl will literally come around, we're kicking, we're having a good time. The little jealousy seed in them starts to grow because they start to study you. They start to think, how does she get everything that she's getting? How does she get so much attention? Is it the way she's acting? Is it the way she's smiling? Is it what she's wearing? Is it this? Is it that? The friendship becomes so forced because instead of someone genuinely getting to know you for you, they get too into your life and too into who they think you are and how they think you get what you get. It becomes like weird comp competitive vibe where they feel like, okay, well, if I start to act like that and I start to dress like her and I start to put makeup on like her, then I'll start to get things that she gets. Issues begin when you're dressed like me, you're talking like me, you're trying to walk like me, you're trying to be me, and you're not getting the responses you want. And then you're looking at me like I'm the villain. You're mad at the blueprint. I just let so many things slide in friendships that were just like not healthy. I remember one time I went out for my girlfriend and we went to the club. I didn't want to go out that night, but she really wanted to go out and she wanted someone to go with her. I was like, yeah, girl, let's go out. I was on my monthly too, so you know how it goes, right? Anyways, we go and I'm getting all the, a whole bunch of attention from people. However, people were trying to give her attention too, but she just wasn't being friendly towards them. Me, I'm naturally very bubbly towards people. Like, even if I'm not in the mood, I might be quiet. But I'm very sweet. I'm very ha ha ha, he he he. I think because she was so focused on me, like, everything went over her head. She said she wanted to get into a section. Then it's so interesting how this man walks over, who is like the guy who bought the section, trying to talk to us. She wasn't trying to give him the time of day. I'm naturally not rude. We start chopping it up and he invites us into the section and i said yes because i'm like oh didn't you want to go over there right so i'm like i'm like girl what how can you be mad you're getting everything you want right right the night ends with her screaming in my face telling me it's not all about me who said it was and i just kept my like, cool because it's like i know how i can get and I don't think you're worth getting like that for. I remember one year, um, my friend, my guy friend, 
had come out with me for like an entire weekend. He's like one of my best friends, right? It was like my birthday weekend. And he just saw the amount of destruction that was around me with my within my female friends. And he told me this, and I'll never forget these words. He said, Niobe, these women want to live in your skin. And when he said that, it opened my eyes to the amount of danger I was putting myself in. And that was the conversation that literally changed the way I looked at friendships. We all deserve to be surrounded by people who genuinely love us and genuinely want to give us the space to be ourselves. When my friendships wouldn't work out, it left me genuinely confused. It made me feel like, well, what did I do? Um, should I fix something? Let me try overcompensating. Let me, let me do this. Let me go out of my way to do that. But me thinking like, well, I'm just going to continue being a good friend. At the end of the day, people and their insecurities don't have anything to do with you because they'll do it to the next person they find intimidating or the next person they feel like they want to be like. When you see that people are constantly acting up around you and they just like can never show up and be their best selves and seem to take things out on you, it's because they're triggered by you. There's something about you that they want, that they like. It could be your happiness, it could be your beauty, it could be the clothes that you always rock all the time because you're just walking fresh like that. What I have learned is that my naiveness in my Disney princess syndrome <laughs> definitely played a huge role into me being stuck in these traumatic experiences because it's like, Nairi, you knew better. You knew better, you felt those emotions, you felt that intuition telling you like, hey, this is not okay. And I wanna take accountability because in order for me to become a better person, I need to realize how things went and why they continue going down that route. And the only reason why I got treated like that is because I continuously gave them power and the benefit of the doubt. I'm growing as a woman, I'm growing as an adult and I'm just here to share with you all how I was able to overcome it and become a better person a better friend towards myself okay that's why it's also super important to understand the the quality relationships that you have in life in order to attract more of those another huge red flag you should look out for is when you have a friend who is a girl's girl when the girls are around, but then when a man has entered the chat, you should become literally your biggest hater. That's not your friend, sis. As soon as the man comes around, they treat them like the prize, so they literally throw you under the bus because they're like, oh, she's my competition. This is a six-figure man. Men are intelligent enough to know when women are intimidated and when women are being shady. You may not say anything because men usually don't, but men know what's going on. So in the process of you trying to make someone look bad, you're making yourself look bad and you're putting them on a pedestal. And another thing I want to piggyback off of that is when men do come around, let's say you date you know, a man or whatever, and or you're talking to him and you have a girlfriend who tries to make moves on them. Like I've had situations where my boyfriend will literally tell me like, hey, Obi, like your friend <laughs> like, is not your friend. It's shocking, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like that's my man. You don't think he's gonna not tell me? So there were so many situations that that happened and I lost a couple people I thought were friends. So I guess it wasn't really a loss. It was a win for real, for real. Another reason why women will befriend you is because they want to know your beauty secrets, how you do what you do, how you get your skin so clear. Rather than cultivating a relationship, I run my own business. So I've had women who... Sorry, there's like a fly. Literally had women come around with a mask on trying to act like they wanted to be friends with me and figure out how I run my business. When you care more about what you're getting out the relationship versus cultivating the relationship, that means you don't really value me as a person. That means you're only coming over here 
when you want the answers to the pop quiz. Like if she's not cultivating a relationship with you, says so she does not want to be your friend. She just sees you as a resource, which tells you how much value you have because to be a resource, babe, you have a very high value and she, you should only be rocking with other babes with high value. Some women want to hang out with you because of social clout, like social status. I'm like in the house at the time, so I really don't care about what that is. Like, however, it's 2024 and social media is obviously huge. So who you're seen with, who you have a relationship with, or at least look like you have a relationship with does matter, can bring opportunities to you and can make you very popular. The guy I'm talking to now, like I was telling him all these birthday parties I got invited to and he was like, oh my God, Naya, you're literally so popular. And I'm like, oh, am I? Oh, I don't, I don't know. That's not something I'm in touch with because I don't give a fuck about whether I'm popular or not. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm fucking busy. I'm running a business. I'm trying to be great. I'm trying to talk to the youngins on YouTube. You know what I mean? I'm trying to become a better woman. So do you think I care about being popular right now? No, child, don't worry about that stuff. So another sign that <laughs> the girls ain't really your girls, the girls don't like you, the girls are sick and tired of your ass, honey, is when they stop inviting you out. Y'all wonder why I stay in the house all the time? It's because it takes a certain kind of woman to want to go out with me all the time. Okay, it does. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I'm matcha with oat milk and a little bit of honey, no sugar. The friendship is fun at first, right? Um, however, after you go out a few times, they may start to feel like, damn, like she gets a lot of attention, right? And it's something you can do about that. Like keep shining. Like I would tell my younger self, like don't feel bad. Like you, God made you the way you were. Shine, be yourself. And if they just cannot, deal with it then they're just not for you it wasn't until i got older where i understood like i only get invited out by certain type of women and i'm okay with that because when i go out with those certain type of women i have a ball i have to be a little more realistic with myself you that was something i suffered from i wasn't realistic i have my little disney princess syndrome the beauty in it looking back is that i have literally been able to focus on myself Self, I feel like I probably avoided a lot of problems just being out with the wrong people all the time. Them alienating me just caught, just really made me go harder in the direction I decided to go in. And honey, now I'm standing on business. Another sign that your friends feel some type of way about you is when y'all do go out, when it's just not fun. It's not fun. Is shade. People want to compete over who's the finest one, who's getting the most attention. It's like, damn, did I come out to be in a beauty pageant or did I come out to have fun? And something that has brought me a lot of clarity as to why people sometimes reject the pretty girl in the group is because of stereotypes. So stereotypically, a beautiful woman is seen as oh she's so pretty on the outside she's not like on the inside she's full of herself she's a mean person like mean girls right y'all see mean girls Regina George right when people actually get to know you they're like oh she's beautiful on the inside too <laughs> oh and she's funny oh ew why does she get to have both and that is why you need to guard your heart, protect your peace, protect your spirit. Don't allow how people treat you make you into another person. You be who you are, be pure, be kind hearted, which I hope you are. <laughs> Set boundaries. When you're beautiful, people are gonna constantly wanna take from you, wanna invite you out, wanna set you up. If you get anything from this video, I want you guys to put your foot down, respect yourselves, understand your value. And when you do that, people are gonna act funny. They're gonna be like, who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? Cause they can't ride your coattails anymore. The benefits have stopped because you started to value yourself. You don't need bad company and you don't need to be around people who are gonna be okay with you lowering your friendship standards.
you just want to make sure that in your circle you have a couple of real ones and the real ones are hard to come by however when you start keeping it real with yourself it gets a lot easier finding people like you so my pretties what do you think about this have you ever experienced any friendships like these make sure you comment down below any tips that you like to share for all the other girlies thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram i'll be in touch very soon bye Thank <laughs> you.